who want to go in on a franchise that's what i'm talking about like let's talk about real stuff like that Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to just jump on real quick and show you guys how I'm getting ready to um, start doing the um, an envelope challenge. It's a savings challenge that I want to um, start doing because y'all know I got a lot going on, a lot coming up, and I just feel like it's just what I need in my life right now. So here I have a box of envelopes. Um, 100 come in here however I don't think I have 100 in here so um, I'm just gonna put you guys down and walk you all through the process so if you have a hundred envelopes you can start by numbering each envelope 1 through 100 um, because I'm short envelopes I don't think I have nearly as much I guess I could count them real quick and see but Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I only have 79 envelopes. So I am going to go to the store today and get some more. But we're going to go ahead and start with what we have. Just so I can have most of it labeled and up away. So like I said, I'm going to start with five. So what you do is you number each envelope. So I'm going to start with five. So as you guys see, I was counting the first time. I have 83 envelopes. And what I'm gonna do with these is every paycheck, I get paid every two weeks. So every two weeks, I'm going to randomly select two envelopes. Whatever the number is on that envelope is the amount of money that I have to put in it. So they will not be in order. I will shuffle them up and then I will randomly um, select two envelopes. With the money that is left, and then I'm just gonna file it away. I just keep doing it um, until I get to a year. And then I'll go through the envelopes and count all my money and then put that money towards whatever the bigger goal is in my life at the moment. Um, so I'm starting off a little late in the year. So it'll just be a year from today's date. So I'm going to start it today. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys um, my other method to saving um, and getting myself on a really strict savings budget 
um, and spending regimen. So stay tuned. What is going on you guys? Happy Friday. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of the Jaybird fam and ring the bell so you never miss when I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Oh, 9 a.m. Eastern time. If you are already a part of the fam, y'all already know the drill. Welcome back to another vlog. All right, so y'all already saw me number my envelopes. Um, I only had like, what, 82 or 83? So I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree um, and get a little container that I can put them in and then some more envelopes, because I need 100. So I'm gonna do that, but before I leave out, I'm gonna pull my two envelopes and see how much money I need to put in them. And then I'm gonna go to the ATM, excuse me, pull that money out and stuff it so i'm gonna do this um for a year and then we'll see where we're at it's just a real like chill easy fun way to save money um so yeah and then i'm gonna try to get into like getting into my budget it's been a minute girl since i have really like budgeted my money and i'm talking about like the real budget like write down everything save your receipts type budget um when this fund is spent you don't get it type budget you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how i do that i've done this oh y'all it's been so long it's been so long oh man the last time i lived on this type of strict budgeting system was It's been a hot minute, y'all. It's been some years. It's been some years. I don't even want to lie, but it's been some years. So I'm not even going to try to guess when, but it has been a hot minute. So it's definitely going to be a little bumpy, a little rough, you know, because when you just get used to living, just swiping your card or whatever, not really going like you know how i'll go to walmart or i'll go out and i'll say okay my budget today is 200 dollars. i'll go to home goods and be like i don't want to spend any more than blah blah, blah. you know y'all already know nine times out of ten i always always go over budget but with this new um well i can't call it new it's new for you guys as far as y'all seeing it from me but it's not new to me but with this system that i'm going back to my throwback budgeting system it is on some when you're at the counter ringing up and you walked in with a budget of 150 and that thing says 157 you're putting it back you're putting seven dollars back that's how serious it is so it's a good it's a good thing it's a good thing um it keeps me on task it keeps me prioritizing things that i need and things that i want um and then it just gives me um more of a push to go harder for the, the things that I want that are not within budget. So you have like a way to sell something, like you can get rid of something to get something new type of thing. So it just kind of like keeps me, what's the word I'm looking for y'all? It keeps me financially motivated if you will. So I, I'm gonna implement that. I will show you guys how I do everything. And if you guys wanna join in and budget along with me, I will definitely let you guys know all the um, products and things that I use for my organization of it all. And we can do this thing together, girl, because listen, 2022 is goals. Like, that's it. Just goals. That's it. Crushing goals. And y'all already know my 40th is 2022. So 2022, I'm gonna have to make it do what it do, baby. Okay. Cause this girl needs to have an epic 40. Epic 40. Like I'm so glad my 40th was not during the pandemic. I pray that we don't go back into one. Um, I mean we're still kind of like in it, but y'all know what I'm saying. <sighs> yeah. So I'm claiming it and yeah so I'm gonna finish up work I'm on my break right now I have about two hours left um Sean ran out and then I'm going to probably throw on some just real chill workout gear I think I might put baby girl in the stroller and I think I'm gonna um go to this like lake that I usually walk around I hope it's not too too hot outside y'all I hope it's not too too hot outside 
we'll see. I'm gonna play it by ear. If anything, I'm gonna see if Sean can get baby girl because I'll be wanting to like get some stuff done. And y'all know with her, um, it's hard. She's real active and moves a lot. So I can't be like chasing her around and stop doing this, stop doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I would like to switch the scenery up a little bit and maybe do like a content video outdoors. So we shall see how the day unfolds. Um, we have to get up super early tomorrow and go to Jazzy's track me that I was telling you guys about so but I definitely need to get some stuff done in here um, I did pay some bills this morning um, I'm writing out my to-do list I do have some things I need to do I need to make some phone calls and uh, run my little errands so hopefully Sean will be back um, so I don't have to take her because I would like to just jump in my car alone and go run my errands so we'll see how that plays out so I'll let y'all I'll let y'all know when I know. Hey, you guys. I'm in the core, clearly. I don't know y'all like get out today. I'm going to go out for a change. Hopefully, my battery will rock out with me because I'm out sick of this mess, y'all. I was going to take it to the camera guy, but he needed to keep it overnight. And I'm like, dang, I need my camera. But I do have my backup iPhone just in case it decides it wants to act funny because I did not bring um, a spare battery with me this time. So if it does act funny, then I'll be vlogging from my phone. So um, <clears throat> I'm leaving at the house. Sean, he's doing some errands today, but I'm like, listen, okay, I mean, I, I got to get things done too. So um, I'm leaving out the house and then um, Ryan is taking her nap and Kaden just went outside to play. So I'm gonna just run some errands and then I'll get an idea of when he needs to be freed up. And then I'll make my way back to the house. If I still have things to do, then I'll just get the kids and they can run um, the rest of my errands with me or whatever. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I did definitely want to go outside and, or somewhere different and sit down and do a content video for you guys. But I kind of like ran out the house unprepared. I don't have my book. I don't have anything with me. <clears throat> and I don't want it to be like that. So I just know that if I have the kids with me later on trying to do it, it's, it's going to be a bunch of distractions and nothing is going to get done. So I might end up just like doing a video later um, in the evening when everybody is asleep and just pretend like it's daytime and give y'all energy you know what i mean like that's just probably what's going to end up having to be around here because it's extremely difficult and i only have two kids kate is not even a baby i only have two kids and it's so hard for me to book time for myself and that's not that's not cool at all let's take this overboard now i want you to feel that heat and we can ride the book and share that heat of love i want to ride I'm hungry. I was gonna go into Walmart, but I'm like, look, I need to go in with a clear mind, okay, and without no hunger, because y'all know how that goes when you go somewhere hungry. I don't even want to go over <clears throat> near anything where I'm gonna go over my budget. So I'm like, you know what? You're gonna go to Chick Fil A and get you a salad, boo. Y'all already know it's looking like the Disney World line. Look at this parking lot full and double drive through full like i need to own a, a dag on chick-fil-a who want to go in on a franchise that's what i'm talking about like let's talk about real irritated y'all 
Chick-fil-A never ever gets my daggone meal wrong, so I didn't think I needed to check it. And they got my daggone salad wrong. Though. I don't want that salad. I don't know what that is. It look like uncooked bacon up on there. I don't want that. I love me some jagged edge, y'all. Like when I tell you they are my hands down favorite group, I absolutely love some jagged edge. Like <sighs> my dream wedding would definitely consist of them singing at it. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm done eating. I was gonna talk to y'all, but <clears throat> excuse me. Sean ended up calling me. Oh, I didn't know them damn salads was that big. And I got, um, I still got, it seemed like more than half left. I'm like, good lord. So, I got two salads. I'm gonna see if Kaden wants one. <sighs> the other one, because they got it wrong. And they don't, you know, they don't take the food back, obviously. So, I was able to keep it. Like, when it comes to, like, my entrepreneur journey, I'm like, all right, Crystal, you know, there's something that you really want. <clears throat> but you know I've been a full time entrepreneur before it's not easy and when I was a full time entrepreneur best believe I still was getting my cash assist I was getting all of that I, no shame okay I sure don't have no shame not when um not when my ancestors pick cotton for this land i want it all because i want my 40 acres in the mule that we ain't never gonna get so let me go ahead and get the cash assistance the food stamps and every daggone thing else the only thing i didn't get that i wish i did get was um section eight shoot who wouldn't want free housing you know what i'm saying like who wouldn't want free housing what especially especially if I could be my do my entrepreneur thing under the table, man, y'all have been psh, living the life like, and I wouldn't have been like the type to be on the system and just sit on the system. Like, nah, I'm gonna do what I gotta do and get the heck up on out of there. But I definitely would have, you know, ran my business, everything, got all that. You know how much money you pay and rent every month to have free housing. And to have a low a business on the side, what? Killing them. That's I be wondering, like, why people don't be taking advantage of that stuff? Like, you you get Section Eight and you don't have no hustle on the side. Like, what? You just go to work. That's it. Uh uh. I, I'm not set up like that. But anywho, um, you know, I know that entrepreneurship is not easy. It's very much so easy to just work your schedule make what you know you're gonna make bring home what you know you're gonna bring home versus entrepreneur you don't know how you're gonna get what you're gonna get who you're gonna get and you have to do the work because you know you gotta push your, your business in people's face they're not gonna just find and triple and stumble upon your business i mean they will but far few and in between and right now i am manifesting working with companies like i want to work with several companies so I think I want to do a video like um, a behind the scenes of YouTube, like what all comes with it. Cause I know that when, before I started YouTube, I always wanted to know like, dang, how come they be getting, like, how do they get all this free stuff? Like, how do they get, you know, how do they get companies to pay them? And like, how does this all work? You know, what platforms do they use and this, that, and the third. I'm going to put y'all D because, you know, I just wish somebody would have put me D. And I, I mean, I did find information here and there. But you gotta really dig and scout for it. You know, they just kind of leave you real surface. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a keep it real with y'all, you know? I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Because y'all might be out there really wanting to, like, maybe get into YouTube. And, um, but don't really know, like, how to start. Not sure if it's worth it or whatever or you may have started youtube but you want to like take it to the next level don't really know how to edit don't know what the best software is what the best equipment is this and the third and i don't consider myself a guru however i definitely do give myself a pat on the back because um i vlogged off my phone probably for like a year and that was before i was like real consistent when i got real consistent i took it serious i'm like this is what i really like to do um i made sure I wanted to bring in the birth of rain with some good quality equipment. So I invested, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, it's gonna pay off in the end, sis. Okay, it's gonna pay off in the end. 
but if you guys would like that type of video then comment below and also leave like any questions or whatever that you want to know so that way i could be sure to include it in the video when i do do it you know what i'm saying because i don't mind doing it i'll show you guys um the equipment if you guys want to see like how i edit i can show you guys that just you know communicate with me y'all i know i see y'all watching it be saying you know x amount of views but y'all ain't saying too much y'all ain't saying too much y'all real quiet i need my j birds to liven up in the comments like come on now at least be like hey here watching from germany or something like i want to know where you watching from watching from louisiana like okay hey girl you know what i'm saying but yeah if y'all interested in that type of content y'all want me to do a video like a behind the scenes of a content creator all the way from basically how to start a youtube channel how to um edit your videos how to grow your channel even though we have a standstill i definitely grew mine though like real fast um and then um <clears throat> how to get like um, partnerships and company deals and stuff like that so right now with me being like a, a smaller channel i work with a lot of companies i'm working with like three now we're we're emailing back and forth trying to go over some logistics but i'm a very 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 small channel so i don't get all the perks and everything that the bigger ones get but that is gold baby girl that is gold and you guys can help me reach it by right now clicking on the little thumbs up button it's so cute to click that thing right there and then mosey on over to the right and click on the subscribe button if you are not subscribed already slightly to the right of that you will see a bell icon if you click that you'll see three options i need you to go ahead and shoot for the stars and hit the top bell that will let you know every single time i upload a video that's how y'all can contribute to my channel and i really appreciate the love and support i appreciate my day ones i rock with y'all for real for real and i can't wait till we do our meet up like you know i want to be that youtuber where if but i don't want to say if because I, I, I don't like to use the word if when when i get to a point in life i want to really like grab a good handful of my day ones and pay for everybody and fly out from wherever you from like wherever you at i'm gonna fly you out to where we going and we're gonna have a good time on me like that's that's the type of that's the type of community family feel like I, that's how that's how i am like that's how i am if i hit the lottery y'all we hit the lottery because i would have I just would have shared my house like and i know you can't trust everybody you know what i'm saying but you know the ones that have been rocking with you from day one like you know those i know the ones that reach out via text i know the ones that dm i know the ones that constantly comment under like 80 percent of my videos those are who i'm talking about like i know those so if ever i was to hit the lottery y'all the first ones to be like hey girl get on that flight that ticket is booked let's go manifest that y'all that would be so fun wouldn't it but anyway i'm pulling up to the house baby girl i um, was moving around so i told sean to go ahead and like get her together change her up and stuff i'm gonna come in here and feed her some lunch all right back home been home for a little minute um <clears throat> sean had to run out so it's got through feeding the kids and now i'm getting ready to go upstairs to charge my phone because it died and then um i gotta do something to this little girl head so come on right up let's go up my mom took her cornrows out yesterday and washed her hair and stuff so i greased it up but so y'all look at her how top fade I'm gonna need the, the back of his head to grow. It is taking a sweet time. They say the ones whose hair takes the longest to grow end up with the most. I hope that's true. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do something to baby girl hair. Um, it's not gonna be much, probably some little 
pigtails or something like that because I need to uh, wash her hair because she has like really really bad scalp like it's real dry it needs to be washed frequently so the doctor gave me some medicine that I picked up yesterday from the pharmacy so I'm gonna try to keep her hair to a minimum so Are you ready to get your hair done baby girl no Tell me why this girl ain't five. Okay, talk about something. Else. Hello. Uh -huh. Yes, Ryan. Yes, baby. Uh -huh. Mommy, be there in a minute, okay? I can feel it. dinner baby what y'all want for dinner huh ask that ask that ask that what y'all want for dinner baby what do you want for dinner mama what do you want to eat I know what do you want to eat you don't know Okay, let me speak to Dada. Alright, I definitely took y'all with me, but I didn't turn y'all on in one of my I was just like focused, wanting to get up in and out of there. So I got some trash bags. Lord knows we need those. And then I bought me some arbor mist. I very rarely drink arbor mist, but I got some peach arbor mist. And then I got some whiting, some shrimp. What else did I get? Uh, on to the good stuff, right? What I came for. I got this bomb journal, y'all. It's beautiful. I love this color. It says journal on it. So right now I'm writing um, positive affirmations and that one um, polka dot journal so I think I'm just gonna go back to like manifesting in this one here and this is one of my budget binders it's only like two dollars or $1.97 two dollars and then this is another one I'll show you guys what I'm using both of them for I got these cards um, to write my prayers on them and what I'm working on a pack of pens some tape so I don't have a whole bunch of holes in my wall and then garlic powder we've been eating garlic powder for a hot minute so I'm gonna go home get these children fed well I'm sure it's not probably in there them or something um I still gotta have for myself I was trying to ask Sean if he wanted something to eat but He wasn't responding. He was like, baby girl, take over. So, um, whatever, at this point, if he wants something, he'll, he'll run out. If he wants something. But I got him some fish, even though it's not thawed out. And it's eight o'clock already, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go home, pour me a glass of wine. And then I'm gonna straighten up my office a little bit. I'll probably have to do all of this when baby girl goes to sleep. I can't really get much done when she's up. She be up under me all the time, y'all. I have y'all on the wheel, so hold on. Hold on, you guys. You guys are gonna go upside down. Whee! Hopefully I'm not making y'all dizzy. Hold on, one more time. Whee! Two more times. And then, back around so now you guys should be good for a minute <laughs> but um yes yeah, so I probably have to do it when I have her when she's put down to sleep and stuff because <clears throat> when she's up the girl gets nothing doing nothing done at all 
I know that is probably loud as I don't know what y'all ear. I think at this point, especially like when you're like getting over the hump, I'm about to be 40 in a year. Um, I think you just kind of like put yourself to a, a little bit of a higher standard in life in general. And just like, all right, now I got to crush these next 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that I can relax in my 60s and I can really, you know, enjoy the true retirement life. And sometimes I feel like, dang, do I have it in me? You know, do I have it in me? <sighs> you know what I mean? But it's all good, cause I'm saying, faith without works is dead. And I'm riding with that one. So, I gotta have faith. And most importantly, when you have your faith and you ask God for what you're asking him for, you have to then sit back and have faith that he's going to do his part. But not just sit back and do nothing. You need to do your part. Sorry, y'all. Uh, that's where I'm at right now with it. Like, I have to do my, my part, you know. I'm over here asking God to bless me with this and asking him to bless me with that. And it's like, all right, are you deserving of it? Did you earn it? Are you doing your part? So, I gotta start doing my part. Hey y'all, it is late. Yeah, so I've been home for a while. Actually, um journal my first journal entry and my new lovely beautiful journal and I have my glass of wine here so um I don't know how I forgot to do this y'all but I forgot to pull the envelopes before I left out and the whole purpose was to do that as well and go to the bank I didn't do that so I'm gonna just have to do it tomorrow I gotta set it up anyway and create the labels and everything for um for here but what i will do is i will show you guys on one of these cards um i'll just write down like what each um label is going to be like what each section is going to be um of course you can customize yours to your liking or whatever you like and then i also have this one so i told you guys i have two so let me go ahead and open up this pack and I'll be right back with y'all. All right guys, so I've been home for a while and I am writing scriptures for my office slash prayer closet. That's what I have so far. I'm excited about that. 